Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from America are The US and India have discussed procedures for pursuing designations against terrorist groups and individuals through domestic and international mechanisms. An identical statement issued by both the governments said that the dialogue was to discuss increasing bilateral cooperation on terrorism related designations. The House of Representatives will have to vote again hours after it approved the final version of the Republican tax bill. A Senate parliamentarian has ruled against three provision of the legislation. However, re-voting would not change the timing on the bill or its fundamental provisions. American graphic novelist Brad Meltzer is all set to present his new graphic novel titled I Am Gandhi, a graphic biography of a hero. The novel scheduled to release in May 2018 has been written by Meltzer and illustrated by about two dozen top artists. The White House petition site We The People has temporarily been shut down. President Donald Trump's administration said that the platform launched in 2011 by former President Barack Obama will return by late January as a new site and that it would save taxpayers $1.3 million annually. President Donald Trump's district court nominee Matthew Peterson has withdrawn from his nomination. Peterson said that he was no stranger to political realities and that he did not wish to be continued distraction to President Trump's or administration's work. Vice President Mike Pence has postponed his trip to Egypt and Israel until next month to ensure the Senate passage of the much-awaited Republican tax bill. Pence do not want to take any chances, especially in light of Senator John McCain's expected absence due to health issues. North Korea has rejected a recent offer by the US for talks about preconditions, calling it a ploy to make Pyongyang give up its nuclear program. A North Korean daily said that the US was trying to shift responsibility for tensions on the Korean peninsula with its dialogue offensive. The US has vetoed a UN Security Council resolution criticizing President Donald Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. This was the first time the US exercised its veto since Trump became president. The White House has blamed North Korea for the massive WannaCry cyber attack. The US has evidence for the claim and the UK and Microsoft have reached similar conclusions in their analysis of the attack, which plagued computers world over in May. NASA is set to reveal the final concepts for a future robotic mission to explore the solar system during a media teleconference. The mission concepts were chosen from 12 proposals submitted in May to address top solar system exploration goals. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows.